In this video, I'll walk you through the process of building your own DIY solar stand. This can be built for under about $100, requires a few tools, and can be built in as little as three to four hours by yourself. I'll also list some measurements and items that you're gonna to need to buy in a free downloadable document that you can get in the description section below. The advantage of a setup like this is that you can maximize your solar input by easily moving the panels every hour or two to track the sun. I built the first version of the stand using a basic diagram I drew on paper and made a slightly improved version two. In this video, I'll go step by step showing you how I built this. Before I jump in, I do want to give credit where it's due. I was inspired by another YouTube video from the channel Jasonoid, Solar Power, Batteries, and More. He utilized aluminum stands, and I considered going in this direction but opted instead for an all wood frame to keep the budget down. I'll post a link to his video if you want to check that out. Once you've built this, you can adjust the stands, combine with a small solar angle guide to get the right angle to point directly at the sun to maximize your solar panels production. For this, we're going to need nuts, large washers, small washers, some bolts, lag screws, hinges, small wheels, and large wheels. Again, I'll post links to everything below. We'll need 10 2x4s. I went with pressure treated wood. Obviously, you can get regular 2x4s and paint them for a cheaper price, but I went ahead and opted for this approach. Now, as far as the tools that you're going to need, a drill, ideally two if you have them, some drill bits, screws, I went with wood deck screws, some clamps, a tape measure, a knee pad just to help on the ground, some pencils, gloves, and a square if you have one. Additionally, you'll need some type of saw to cut the wood precisely. Whatever you have on hand will work. To begin, let's measure our long 2x4s that we're going to use on the outside frame. We'll measure them to 72 inches. And again, always measure twice, cut once. So I went ahead and had the four boards that are going to serve as the outside frame for the top and the bottom. Went ahead and measured it. And I just used a square for good measure to show where I'm going to specifically cut. You don't have to do this, but it helps. Next, go ahead and cut the boards to length. Next, we'll go ahead and measure for 41 inches for the boards that will go on the side of our frame. Again, we can use two of the two by fours. We can uh, just measure 41 inches as you see on both ends. We'll have some space or rather some excess wood left over. So when I cut it, you'll see that there's gonna be a small amount that's gonna be left over. Again, we only need two two by fours to provide us with the short outside pieces of wood that will serve on the outside of the frames for the top and the bottom. Next, I'll go ahead and start drilling these holes where I'll put in the wood deck screws. If you have two drills, that's great. If you only have one screwdriver, you'll obviously have to take the drill bit out after you go ahead and pre-drill all those. Next, you'll just go ahead and drill in all of the screws. Again, I use wood deck screws. As you can see in the corners, I just drop in a couple of small pieces of leftover wood to create solid corners so the frames don't shift and move around. Without these, you'll get the frames moving around a lot. And I just really want to secure these down. As you can see, I'm adding an additional smaller piece on top of the one that I already drilled in. Now, in a moment, we're going to talk about why it's important to drill this in a certain way for the larger wheels. But for the smaller wheels, just think about having a small hole that you're going to leave in the center. You don't want the lag screws to hit these screws that we're putting in. But I'll show that more here in just a second. Now that we have these small pieces of scrap wood in the corner, again, we just want to think about a small hole that we're going to have to drill in between all of these screws that we just added in for this long lag screw that's going to go in on the sides. This is going to be where we'll mount the wheels. So as you're drilling these small screws and just think that through. Now, as you can see, this large lag screw is going to need to go in between these two by fours. So what I did is I just mounted one two by four in this corner, a little small piece of scrap wood. And I just am aware of the fact that I need to drill a hole on the side for the lag screw that will slide in or rather go in between these two pieces of two by four that are mounted or rather uh, screwed together. So I went ahead and just mounted one in the corner and then I drilled my large hole. I think a second ago I showed there was two pieces of scrap wood in the corner. I made a mistake and I pulled one out and I just went ahead and put the um, one in place and then later went back and added the second once I put that lag screw in. So now, as you can see, I'm measuring the holes that I'm going to drill for the large uh, for the lag screw that's going to go for the small wheels in the corner. Again, 
as you're drilling those small pieces of scrap wood in the corner, just think that through that you're going to have to put a hole in the middle of them, so be careful where you place the screws. Next, I went ahead and measured this area in between the two large pieces of 2x4, the outside of the frame, and you should get around about 38 inches or so. Went ahead and measured that, and then I cut it with the saw. Now that I have them cut, and I'll be honest with you, through the power of editing, I removed some of the footage where I did drop these in and they just didn't fit. So I had to kind of reduce them down, I want to say to about 37 and a half inches. You just kind of have to play around with it. But they always err on the side of them being too long because if you drop them in and they're too short, that's always a problem. So I went ahead and cut the other two by fours that are going to serve on the other frame that are going to go in the middle. So we'll have in total a six. Now you may ask where are the other two coming from? Those are going to serve as a stand that I'll show you in a moment. They're going to be the arms that will allow us to pivot the size or rather the angle of our frame to increase it or decrease it. So in total, I cut four pieces from the two by fours that I had. Next, what I did is I went ahead and measured on the end of two of the small two by fours that we just cut that were about 38 inches long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a place where I'll drill a hole to mount these on the inside frames, the two by fours. As you can see here, I've got a triangle and I'm going to cut the little small triangles in the corner off so that as we use these as stands, we can angle these up and down without hitting the two by fours that they're mounted to. So I went ahead and measured, I believe, two two by fours in total. And I created these triangles, so to speak, on both ends. And then I just went ahead and used my ruler and defined where the hole is that I'm going to drill, which I'll show you here in just a second. Now I went over to my saw and very carefully cut the corners to give, again, kind of a triangle C that we have on the end. And I did this with a total of four of the two by fours. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start drilling holes for our bolts that we're gonna drop in. Now, this is where we're gonna mount these two by fours on the inside frames. We'll see a little more in a moment. And once you drilled a few holes, you can put this on top of the other two by fours, serving it, or rather using it as a template. As you can see, I'm just drilling down. And in total, we're gonna drill into six boards. Now, four of them, we're gonna drill on the end. Two of the boards are gonna have the triangles on the end. And as you can see here, this board is gonna have multiple holes. We're gonna have four boards in total, where we just randomly place holes about every five inches, but again, measure them on one board. And then you can use it as a template to drill holes into the other boards. And I say randomly because they don't have to be perfect. We're just drilling about every five inches or so. And what this allows us to do is to adjust our stand arms to decide which holes we want to screw it, the bolts into to adjust our stand. As you can see here, I'm just carefully going through and I bolted the ends of these boards together and using them as a template. Next, I measured on the large side of the frame on the two x four where I wanna place these two x fours that I just drilled all the holes in. Again, we're gonna drop these in and they're gonna serve as a support and also where we're going to move our adjustable arm and I'll show you momentarily where we're going to put the bolts in and we can adjust the angle of our stand. Again I just drilled some holes and then popped in my wood deck screws on both sides. Now that we've got everything tied together you can see we've got all these holes as we drilled a second ago in these two by fours. We've got everything framed up with the supports in the corner. We've got our lag screws bolted in and everything's pretty much done. Next, we're going to build our top frame that the solar panel will rest on. It's going to be identical to the bottom frame that we just built a moment ago. Now, we already pre-cut all of these pieces of wood because we did everything kind of in bulk at the beginning a few steps earlier. And as you can see, all I'm doing is just placing everything. Now, those two small 2x4s two that we just put in the middle, make sure you put those exactly, and we'll drill them in here in just a second, where we put the 2x4s on the other frame because we want these to line up for our stand. All I did is I went around the corners, pre-drilled holes, put in the wood deck screws, and as you can see, I'm measuring these two by fours, where they're gonna go, and I match that up to the measurements of where those two by fours went on the other frame that we just built. Now again, these are the pieces of wood that have the holes in them. As you're gonna see in a moment, we're gonna be able to adjust our stand based on those holes. Next, we're gonna add our hinges to the two frames. We're gonna bring those two frames to meet on the sides, and we'll go ahead and drop those in on the top. We'll pre-drill the holes, as I've been doing, and then drop in the wood deck screws. Once we have the two hinges set up, now you can easily close the frames together. 
and just want to check to make sure everything's lined up. Next, we're going to get the large washers. We're going to get the lag screw. We're going to put this in. I'll just start with the large wheels. These are the 10 inch wheels. We'll put the washers on the inside and out. Use a socket wrench or whatever wrench you have to tighten this down. Now you don't want to tighten it all the way because if it's too tight, the wheels can't move. Next, I'll go ahead and put the other large wheel on the other side. Next, we'll add the small wheels and the lag screw. And this is going to be on the opposite end from the hinges. This is going to be more or less on the back of the solar panels. You can see it's the front that we want to be able to move around. Now we have the frame built, the wheels are set up, and we can now easily move this around with the large wheels on the front. It is going to be heavy, so this is why we put the large wheels on the front. Lastly, I'll add a 2x4 across the front of the stand where the solar panel will sit. Next, we'll get our bolts, our washers, our nuts, and we're going to go ahead and mount the stand arm onto the frame at the bottom. Now we pre-drilled these holes earlier. And as you can see, these stand arms have the triangle cuts on the end to allow them to swivel within the frame as we're going to move them up and down, which I'll show momentarily. All right, so now we'll go ahead and close this up. And what I'll do is I'll show how I get these arms. As you can see, they're detached on one end. The other end is mounted to the frame with the bolts and washers. And because we already have the holes drilled on the two by fours on the top stand, you can see, well, you can't see, I'm sorry. It's a bad angle, but I went ahead and matched up the holes. And as you can see here, I matched up the holes so these arms can mount right on to that. And in a nutshell, it's completed. Also, you're gonna notice the small pieces of scrap two x four that are mounted, the three. That's for resting your solar panels on top of. And that's it. We've got a mobile DIY solar panel stand that can be adjusted at various angles. And we drilled all the holes in our support beams on both frames. So now we can adjust the arm where we want it. We've got the lag screws in place with our wheels and we're pretty much ready to go. Hopefully this video gave you enough information to help you build this. If you have any questions, feel free to post those below in the comments section. As always, stay safe out there.